What's good, YouTube? I'm Zero Zeus, and welcome back to another reaction. So this reaction, this is another vampire trailer. I know I did a vampire trailer, I think, a couple of weeks ago, but this one, Becoming the Monster, I felt like I need to do this because I feel like I'm going to play this game also, but I just like this game in general, so, you know, I'm going to try to cover this as much as I can. Um, so I'm going to basically let this play through. Then I'm going to try to talk about it afterwards and try not to talk in between. Um, so please like, subscribe, share, and comment because I need that support. And let's jump into the video because I'm not trying to take up too much of your time. So let's start the video. You seek to protect and heal the flickering mortals. How vainly noble of you, my child. Fear, hate. Those are the only flowers your compassion may grow. You get them weapons ready! Find one! Leave me alone! Who are you? Stay back! No, no, no. Right! Burn it! She! Where'd he go? Untie your bonds, my child. Unlearn your past. Embrace your new nature. And once more be reborn. The vigor in their blood is all you need. We will crush this beast! Crush the leech, boys! <laughs> Submit to your hunger or resist it. But remember, mortals are now your prey. And you, my child, their mortal enemy. It is the curse of the goddess. Trailer. It is the hunger in you. The need for blood. The will to strike and to punish. To spit in the eye of God. Alright, so that was a trailer right there. Let me start this over. Because we can definitely get into a little conversation. Because it's something that, that's I, ever since I seen this trailer, this wasn't my first time watching it. I've seen it a couple of times before. I actually decided that I should do it, but um, yeah. So I'm just gonna let this play in the background and basically say my thoughts about it. See, th to me, this trailer is all about basically it's going further into the struggle between him being a doctor and trying to save people and him being a vampire. And I think at the end of the trailer, he was basically saying, like, you know, mortals are your mortal enemy. And it's like, technically, I guess if you look at it from predator, prey type of thing, it's like, basically it is. Like, he's always doomed to have to at least kill. He's going to have to kill humans no matter what he does. So he can be as good as he wants to. He can be as, he could, you know, he could be a good Samaritan all he wants to, but eventually he has to. To, he has to embrace the beast in some sort of way and this is what i really want to talk about so embracing the beast i feel like him becoming the monster is a good thing and a bad thing and not becoming a monster also has like its downside so becoming a monster i feel like you'll get really powerful you'll have more moves maybe than usual you'll probably be a higher level than other people's character might be that don't want to embrace the monster, but it's like, I feel like it's some type of downside, whether it be it's taking your life away while, you know, you use certain moves or while you do certain things, it's going to be some type of defect to being the monster, I feel like. It's going to be something, like, kind of like Cold Vein, they have this... I cannot remember what it's called, but it's like if you get too bloodthirsty, your thirst for blood will overtake you and you'll become something different, something worse than what you already are. And I guess, I think that kind of plays, they, I'm pretty sure they're not going to do it the same way as Cobain, but I feel like this falls under those guidelines, kind of. And I feel like 
if you don't embrace the beast and you try your best to not kill as many people as possible, then like you'll be weaker. So it's like it's a bad side to both of them. So saving people and trying not to become the monster. It's like I think you're going you're going to have to find a balance somewhere where you have to kill some people. So it's like I think if if you've seen any trailer that I've covered before this, I think it's one of them where they talk about the choices and you getting to choose who you kill. So everybody's not a bad guy. I'm pretty sure you're going to run across a lot of them, but everybody's not a bad guy. But if you do kill people, I feel like it should be bad people. Or unless you, if you don't want to embrace the beast. But it's like eventually you'll have to because I feel like it'll be an enemy or it'll be a boss with a level that's higher than yours. You're going to have to kill some. You're going to have to harness that blood and use it for something, to level up or something. So... It's kind of inevitable, no matter how you look at it, you have to kill people. And I think that's cool. I think that's cool, even though, like I said, like the, the idea that I brought up, I probably will follow that and just like try to kill the bad people and try my best not to kill anybody for no apparent reason. Because in some of these games, sometimes that tends to have negative effects and nobody wants that. So, but other than that, I think this was a cool trailer. It gave us a little more gameplay than the last ones it did, and it's it's more dialogue. I'll give it that. It's cool images like that one we just seen right there. That was I, I don't know what he was doing. I can't wait for this game to come out, and I'm gonna try my best to cover it on the channel. So if you like this game and you want to see more of it, and you like watching me, well, just wait for the game to come out, and I will definitely try my best to have it and have it for the channel. So hopefully it does good. Hopefully it does better than God of War, but you know. We'll see. But um, I think I'm going to end it right here before I make this reaction too long. Um, this has been my vampire becoming the monster reaction. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all next video.